Today I will speak about one of uh, the most famous uh, bands of new wave of old school thrust metal. And I'm speaking about Warbringer. Uh, if we speak about this kind of, uh, of, of scene, uh, we had some many, we had, we, we have some famous bands as Municipal Waste, Toxic Holocaust, Havoc and Warbringer from the United States, Gamba Bomb and Evil from England, Legion of the Damned from Holland, the Netherlands, and Suicidal Angels and so many other Greek thrust metal bands from Greece, that they were the most famous bands inside this scene of the new wave of old school thrust metal. I can say that Warbringer maybe uh, they have even more uh, followers in, in the United States or in Canada, uh, less in Europe, but also they are very, very famous. They became so famous also because of Century Media in the beginning of the band. The band started in 2004 in Los Angeles and the first name where was on slot. Afterwards, uh, they understood that there is a the famous British thrust metal band uh, uh, on slot and they changed the name to Warbringer. They had until now many, many members and uh, they changed so many members inside them. In the beginning, the first members were John Larks and Viktor Michalsevich, something like that, and John Cavill. Until now, only John Cavill in the vocals uh, uh, continues to be one of the first members of the band until now and we had also adam carroll that he was the drummer in the beginning he left the band came back and he's he, today he's the, he's the he's the guitarist carlos cruz he left as a, as a drummer he left the band he came back to the band uh, and the band in 2014 they have a very big uh, problem that uh, two members of the band, Cruz and the Locks, left the band and they are they were very close to disbanded. But they came back. They came back and even more stronger, even more strong than before. Now, uh, they made uh, two demos, one in 2004, the second 2005, one EP in 2006, one by the name One by One, The Wicked Fall, but their first album came out in 2008, and until now they have six studio albums, and today I will try uh, to make a worst to best ranked their, uh, albums, studio albums to worst to best. So let's start. Now, in the sixth place for me comes their fourth album by the name Empire's Collapse, or it is also known by the number four or the latin number four this album is the album a little bit uh, before uh, uh, that some of the members left the band came out in 2013. it's a not bad album but you can understand that this is not the classical warbringer style in in, in their music in this special uh, special album in the fifth place, their third album of 2011, by the name Words Torn Asunder, if I prefer it well. Also, sympathetic album, but not something that uh, I love it a lot. Fourth place, their second album of 2009. Walking into nightmares, and I know that many many people they love them because of this second album. So they became even more famous, especially because of this album. But for me, if if I will speak about their first works, I prefer their debut album. So in the if in the next place, in the third place, their debut album, their first album of 2008, War Without. And so great new wave old school thrust metal album. Uh, also, the Century Media said that uh, the new age of thrust has begun. 
and also uh, Bill Mitroy Mitroyer, he, he was the producer of this uh, album. Great album with a cover art, very teftonic, very thrust teftonic uh, cover art. A great, great thrust metal album and debut. But for me, the real good Warbringer came afterwards, after the resurrection of the band, let's say it like that. So, in the second place, I will put their last album, their sixth album of 2020, Weapons of Tomorrow. Marshall, uh, the great uh, designer, he made uh, this uh, cover art also. In the fifth album, he made a design. Great album, great album. One of the best thrust metal albums of 2020. Even that uh, I will say that for me, the the most uh, the, the best thrust metal album of the last year was the um, the last album, the sixth album of the British thrust metal band on slot, Generation Antichrist. But also, this was a very good album, even more better than uh, uh, the fifth album of Havoc that came uh, out also in the same uh, year. And in any case, in the first place, their fifth album by the name uh, Woe to the Vanquist of 2017. A great, great, great thrust metal, old school thrust metal album. Uh, even if Marshall here with this cover art is very close uh, to to the cover arts of uh, the death metal band Memoria. In any case, here also we have the Im Remain Violent, one of the more of, of the best thrust metal Im's of the last years. Great, great album for me, and this is uh, uh, the masterpiece of Warbringer until now. So from Israel and from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.